Here's a little homework help on the problems from page 376. And uh, I thought I would try this one, number 18, because some people in the past have stumbled just a little bit uh, with how to handle this. Um, remember that a binomial raised to the second power like this, you could think of as the binomial times itself. So you could just rewrite this as the same binomial times itself, and then you're just going to use the FOIL method. Now I also showed you a few weeks ago how you could do a three-step mental math um, procedure to you know, go through this, and that's also possible. Uh, you, if you remember, you square the first term, then you do first term times second term times 2, and then you square the last term. Um, unfortunately, from what I've found, uh, some people stumble just a little bit doing this three-step process when radicals are involved. So you might just be safer uh, just writing it down twice. It's not going to take probably that much longer to just go through the FOIL process uh, with these two binomials. So let's get started. Um, first terms together. Remember, when you multiply a term that's a combination, you're multiplying a number and radical. It's a combination number and radical. So you, you have to think of it this way. We're going to multiply 2 times 2, the numbers outside the radical, which would be 4. Then we're going to multiply the radicals themselves. Root 5 times root 5 is just 5. So the first term is going to be 20. I'll just put that's the F part of FOIL. Okay. Now let's do the outer part. Okay, so we're going to multiply 2 root 5 times 3 root 2, so first terms together, 2 times 3, 6, times the radicals together, root 5 times root 2, well, that's just root 10. So here, um, unlike in this case where I had root 5 times itself and I got just the regular number 5 that I could multiply by 4, um, here I'm going to still have a number radical combination being multiplied. Okay, so that takes care of the outer. Now let's do the inner terms. So 3 times 2, which is 6, times square root of 10, same thing. Okay, that's the result of the inner. And now the last. Okay, so 3 times 3, 9, times root 2 times root 2 is 2, and that gives me 9 times 2, which is 18. Okay, and now I combine the like terms. I'm going to start with the regular numbers first. 20 plus 18 is 38, and then I add the radicals together. 6 root 10 plus 6 root 10 is 12 root 10, and the radical cannot be simplified and so that is going to be my final answer for number 18. Okay, I thought I would do this one in the um, uh, last set of problems on page 376. Um, remember, when you rationalize a denominator that is a binomial that contains a radical, you're going to multiply the top and the bottom, we talked about this in class, by the conjugate of the denominator. And the, the conjugate of 2 minus 2 times the square root of 8 is 2 plus 2 times the square root of 8. Now let me say this right off the top. Some of you may have decided to go ahead and simplify the square root of 8 first, and that's certainly okay. I'm just going to wait and do it last, but you would have gotten the same thing if you simplified first and then used that conjugate. All right. So let's uh, multiply the numerators together, and that's going to be the FOIL method. So 3 times 2 is 6. That's the 
first terms together. The outer terms, 3 times 2 square root of 8, will be 6 square root of 8. It's outer. The inner terms together will be 2 times the square root of 8. And then the last terms together, and this is where, again, it gets a little tricky, so just be careful. You start with 1 times 2, and that's 2, times square root of 8 times the square root of 8, which is 8. So this last term is just going to be 2 times 8, which is 16. On the bottom, since we're multiplying conjugates, we really just have to multiply the first terms together, 2 times 2 minus, and now we're going to multiply the last terms together. So again, let's think about how we do this. We'll do 2 times 2, which is 4, times the square root of 8 times the square root of 8. It's just 8. So we're going to be subtracting 32 from 4. Okay, so now it's just a matter of cleaning this up, combine like terms, and then we'll simplify the square root of 8. So 6 plus 16 is 22. Plus, and then we have 6 root 8 plus 2 root 8, that's 8 root 8, all over negative 28. Okay, now how do we simplify the square root of 8? And it's already being multiplied times 8, so I'm just going to come over here and see if I can show this. We would do this as 8 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Okay. Now the square root of 4 is 2, so when we put these two regular numbers together with multiplication, we end up with 16 times the square root of 2. So over here, I'm going to come back to my problem. I'm going to write this as 22 plus 16 times the square root of 2, and hopefully that helps explain how we got 16 root 2. And all of this is being divided by negative 28. Okay, we're not quite finished because if you look at the numbers that are not under the radical, we notice that they're all even. They're all divisible by 2. Uh, so we need to do that. We need to simplify this by dividing all of these by 2 to get this uh, fraction in a simplest form. So 22 divided by 2, 16 divided by 2, notice I'm not touching the part underneath the radical, and negative 28 divided by 2. All right, so that ends up uh, being my answer to number 26, 11 plus 8 root 2 over negative 14. Okay, i got one more for you. Uh, this is a lot like... Um, the problems that you've already you already did on the previous page. Uh, if you notice, it's very similar to 8, 10, and 12. And then I did one in your notes. Uh, I think it was example number two that we worked in class together. But it works like this. We we basically have to simplify these radicals and then see if we have like radicals that can be combined. So. To simplify the square root of 72, I'm going to use the perfect square root, square root of 36, times the not perfect square root 2. To simplify the square root of 32, I'm going to do the square root of 16, which has a perfect square root, times the square root of 2. And for the square root of 18, I'm going to do the square root of 9, perfect square root. And you notice a pattern. All of these terms are going to have the square root of 2 in them, so I know that all of these are going to be like radicals. Square root of 36 is 6 root 2 plus 4 root 2 plus 3 root 2. All like radicals, so we just add the numbers in front. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 3 is 13 root 2. And that is the final answer for number 27. So that's three of the problems that you had to do on Section 7.3 homework. I hope that helps. To hope now you can do the rest of them pretty easily. But if you have any questions, just let me know.